Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Knowledge World. In today's video we will talk about vector and raster data. So friends, before you start the video, if you have not yet, like, and subscribe to my channel, please do, so that you will get the notification of my new videos. So, let's start the video. Father of GIS Dr. Roger F. Tomlinson's Lifespan 17 November 1933 to 7 February 2014 He was an English geographer and primary promoter of the modern computerized geographic information system and has been acknowledged as the father of GIS Vector Data Vector data consists of individual points, which, for 2D data are stored as pairs of X and Y coordinates. The point may be joined in a particular order to create lines, or joined into closed rings to create polygons. But, all vector data fundamentally consists of, lists of coordinates. That define vertices, together with rules to determine whether, and how those vertices are joined. There are three main vector data types in GISR. Number one, points. Number two, lines. Number three, polygon. Points. Vector points are simply XY coordinates. Generally, they are a latitude and longitude with a spatial reference frame. When features are too small to be represented as polygons, points are used. For example, house, population, etc. Lines Vector lines connect each vertex with paths. Basically, you are connecting the dots in a set order and it becomes a vector line with each dot representing a vertex. Lines usually represent features that are linear in nature. For example, river, road, and railway line etc. Polygon When you join a set of vertices, in a particular order, and close it, this is now a vector polygon feature. In order to create a polygon, the first and last coordinate pair are the same. Cartographers use polygons to show boundaries, and they all have an area. Raster data The raster data is, made up of pixel has an associated value. Simplifying slightly, a digital photograph is an example, of a raster data set, where each pixel value, corresponds to a particular color. In GIS, the pixel values may represent, elevation above sea level, or chemical concentrations, or rainfall etc. There are five main raster data types in GISR. Number one, satellite imagery. Number two, binary scanned file. Number three, graphics files. Number four, digital elevation models. Number five, digital orthophotos. Satellite imagery. Satellite imagery are image of the Earth or other planets collected by imaging satellites operated by governments and businesses around the world. Such data are recorded in raster format. For example, you can see these two pictures, which are satellite images of Shimala and Kulumanali. Satellite images can be displayed in black and white or in color. Satellite images can also simulate color photographs if they have pixel values from the red, green, and blue spectral bands. The image looks like a color photograph if bands 3, 2, and 1 are assigned to red, green, and blue, 
respectively, and a color infrared photograph. If bands 4, 3, and 2 are assigned to red, green, and blue, respectively. Binary scan file. A binary image is one that consists of pixels that can have one of exactly two colors, usually black and white. Binary image also called bi-level or two-level. This means that each pixel is stored as a single bit. For example, a zero or one. Graphics files. In this type of raster data, we can include maps, photographs, and images, which can be stored as digital graphic files. Major popular graphic files in raster format are GIF, Graphic Interchange Format PNG, Portable Network Graphics JPEG, Joint Photographic Experts Group Digital Elevation Models A digital elevation model consists of an array of uniformly spaced elevation data. A digital elevation model is point-based, but it can easily be converted to raster data by placing each elevation point at the center of a cell. For example, you can see these three pictures, which display digital elevation models, which are from India and Kulu Manali. Digital Orthophotos A digital orthophoto quad is a digitized images prepared from an aerial photographs or other remotely sensed data in which the displacement caused by camera tilt and terrain relief has been removed. A digital orthophoto is georeference and can be registered with topographic and other maps.